Constance Wu is opening up about the backlash she received over her fresh off the boat Twitter drama in 2019, revealing that she attempted to take her own life amid the criticism. The Crazy Rich Asians actress got candid about her mental health journey in a tweet on Thursday, which marked her first post in nearly three years. Constance said her return had her feeling, quote, a little scared. She wrote in part, I was afraid of coming back on social media because I almost lost my life from it. Three years ago, when I made careless tweets about the renewal of my TV show, it ignited outrage and internet shaming that got pretty severe. I felt awful about what I'd said. And when a few DMs from a fellow Asian actress told me I'd become a blight on the Asian American community, I started feeling like I didn't even deserve to live anymore, that I was a disgrace to Asian Americans, and they'd be better off without me. Looking back, it's surreal that a few DMs convinced me to end my own life, but that's what happened. Luckily, a friend found me and rushed me to the ER. Constance faced criticism in 2019 when she shared her frustration over her ABC sitcom, Fresh Off the Boat, getting renewed for a sixth season. She tweeted at the time, so upset right now that I'm literally crying. Ugh, f Then followed it up with another tweet that read, f hell. After a fan tweeted to her, congratulations on your renewal, great news. She replied, no, it's not. The TV star leader apologized for her comments and clarified that while she loved Fresh Off the Boat, she'd been upset that the renewal meant she'd have to turn down a project she was, quote, really passionate about. In her return to social media, Constance reflected on how her suicide attempt changed things for her. She wrote, it was a scary moment that made me reassess a lot in my life. For the next few years, I put my career aside to focus on my mental health. Asian Americans don't talk about mental health enough. While we're quick to celebrate representation wins, there's a lot of avoidance around the more uncomfortable issues within our community. Even my tweets became a subject so touchy that most of my Asian American colleagues decided that was the time to avoid me or ice me out. I'll admit it hurt a lot, but it also made me realize how important it is to reach out and care for people who are going through a hard time. Constance also revealed that she wrote a book during her time away from social media, one she hopes will, quote, help people talk about the uncomfortable stuff in order to understand it, reckon with it, and open pathways to healing. She concluded her post with these thoughts about returning to social media. After a little break from Hollywood and a lot of therapy, I feel okay enough to venture back on here, at least for a little bit. And even though I'm scared, I've decided that I owe it to the me of three years ago to be brave and share my story so that it might help someone with theirs.